For the 16th and final time, the Liberty Flames are ready to open Big South play. Saturday night, 3-2 Liberty will host 4-1 Kennesaw State for a homecoming weekend at Williams Stadium. The Flames may not be competing for a conference title this year, but after back-to-back -back losses and a bye week, Coach Turner Gill's team is ready to taste victory again. Yeah, uh, you know, we, we, we know the understanding of the four is not being able to win a conference championship, but it's about us getting better and playing to the best of our ability. That's kind of the conversation. That's the dialogue that we You know, when you lose games, it's, it's not a good feeling, especially having a bye week after. But, you know, we, we, re, we refocused our mind. Um, we're, we're coming in every week like – it's, I guess, our last game to play, and, you know, we're going to be ready for uh, Kennesaw State this coming week. The Flames are looking to get their offense back on track. After averaging nearly 50 points per game during its 3-0 start, Liberty has scored only 17 points in its last two games combined. Offensive coordinator Joe Daly spent the off week looking at how to improve the run game. What personnel groups, what formations, uh, what down distances that we need to continue to, to move the football in, uh, in addition to how we get the football into the hands of our playmakers. We just were focused in on actually getting back to running the ball better because we know that that will open up our pass game even more to make our offense as explosive as it was at the beginning of the year. Getting the ground game going this week won't be easy. Kennesaw State's run defense has allowed only 64 yards per game. That's sixth best in the country. Every game you always want to go out there and establish the run and, you know, playing a premier team like this versus the run is definitely a great testament or – you know, test to show how well we have improved on what we've done in the bye week and how well we'll do moving forward. These guys play a very, very physical uh, brand of football in the box, the, the 4D linemen and the two box backers, and they play really, really well with their eyes. Also during Kennesaw State's current four-game win streak, the offense has thrived with its triple option attack. The Owls are averaging 301 rushing yards per game, which ranked fourth in the FCS and they've scored 31 points per game. You know, I feel confident that our young men, most of our young men have played this team two years in a row. Um, but they're doing a couple of new things that we haven't seen in the last two years. And so once again, on top of how they execute uh, what they do, uh, what they did last year, uh, it's all going to be about our discipline. I Me mean, personally, I love playing triple option teams. It's just, it's simple football. It's not necessarily, like, it's not necessarily okay, like, you got these athletes, you got to make sure they're here, things like that. It's like, you know what's coming, they know what's coming. Like, it's, I, I really appreciate that type of football, and it's hard-nosed, and it's fun. Last year in Atlanta, Diavante Brown had a career-best game against Kennesaw State with nine tackles, three TFLs, and a sack. Slowing down Al's quarterback Chandler Burks will once again be a big part of the game plan. Everything in his demeanor is like he's going to pitch it or give it, and it's believable. And then all of a sudden he's he's down the field like he didn't see you couldn't tell if he kept it or not and things like that. So you really have to be disciplined um, playing him. The way the quarterback is for Kennesaw State, he try to keep the ball in his hands and he keep it real high and tight and try to run behind his blockers. So my thing is if we can just you know be in his face the minute he decides to keep it, you know, hopefully hopefully he'll try to pitch it and, and you know they're they're all key with the pitches. So far that hasn't been an issue for Kennesaw State. The Owls are plus eight in the turnover margin this year. That's eighth best in the country. That's going to be always a factor in a game, but it's very, very crucial in this game just because of what type of offense they have. Um, they, uh, you know, they're going to run the clock down pretty much. They have, I think, somewhere around 32 minutes uh, a game that they have possession. So you're going to have less possessions in this ball game than what you would have in some of the other games that we played before. So we got to clean that up on the offensive side as far as taking care of the ball. Uh, defensively, we got to create turnovers. We got to take the ball away. Liberty is two and zero all time against Kennesaw State. The Flames are also four and one under Coach Turner Gill when coming off a bye week. Saturday's homecoming game kicks off at 6 p.m. inside Williams Stadium. Live television coverage is on ESPN three. Live radio coverage is on flagship station 88.3 FM in Lynchburg, part of the Liberty Flame Sports Network from VWSE. With the Flames in Lynchburg, I'm Nick Pierce.